Hello everybody, welcome back. Martin here. It is bitterly cold today. It's probably minus five outside and it's probably not much more in here. So today I want to get this whole thing out and get a new one in and get a couple of circuits up and running so we can maybe get some heat in here. At, at least get some lights going so that I can stay after three o'clock. So today we're gonna get rid of this old dinosaur. These are the old rewirable type fuses, which are totally, um, totally unsuitable nowadays. Let's see if I can get one of these off. There we are. These old fuse holders here. Now, that's interesting. It says, I you can see that, it says lounge heater. This one says immersion, sockets. Uh, this one isn't marked, but it says five amp. So that's, and, and you can see in there the cable. So that will be the lighting circuit. And this one is 30 amp. So I'd imagine that's the cooker. So why don't we uh, whip these two covers off, turn the out well. Turn the electricity off first. So I'm going to turn the electricity off first, whip these two covers off and see what we got. See if we can trace some of the circuits around the place. Okay. And that's what it looks like with the covers off. As you can see, it's pretty filthy. Lots of cobwebs. I've taken the carriers off so that you can see uh, a bit better the circuits. So this is for the Economy 7. This is your uh, incoming meter tails and there's only one circuit on here which said living room heater. And up here is the uh, daytime units, uh, the daytime uh, supply, your two meter tails here and we've got four circuits. This one said immersion heater, that looks like 2.5, which is correct. This has got three cables in here. So that is, the so these are the sockets, but these are uh, radial circuits. So I want to convert that to uh, a ring main. So there'll only be two in there. So I've got to find the ends of these somewhere out there and join them together. But it's not exactly a big flat, so it shouldn't be hard to find. This, <laughs> this is 1.5 lighting circuit, quite obvious. And this big heavy one here, which had a 30 amp fuse, uh, I'm guessing will be the cooker. So let's go. Let's go over here and have a look at some of the cabling and we'll identify what circuits are what from one end to the other. I've got most of the lighting circuit identified now. So if you see here, this is a bathroom switch. These are both red. Uh, this is a loop from the bathroom. And this is the loop going to the living room. So that one goes off probably over there. This is the switch, which I've identified over there. And this one here is from the bathroom. So that comes from over there, sorry, over there. I've also got identified bathroom fan, bathroom heater. Uh, this one, I don't know what it is yet. This one is not sure. It's a 1.5, so it's a lighting cable. Oh yeah, I do know that that from here goes in there and there's nothing on it. So I think this was to power something. I don't know what it was, maybe another fan or something in here, but that was to power. They've taken power from that rose there to here. So this can come out. So if we go over here, I can show you over here. So this here is bedroom switch. This is another switch. I don't know what it is yet. I think it's one of the lamps over there. This is the immersion heater. Now down here, this is 
these are connected to these three are to do with the living room heater which is on that separate little um, uh, distributor board so what we have here is the loop in and the loop out as in ring main and this one separate I think is the is the switched live so this is on the daytime rate and this will be for the storage heater on the nighttime rate no sorry it's the other way around I'm just looking at these now so the one with a single switch is the nighttime storage heater and this is the and this is the ring main to give uh, a, a permanent live for boosting the power during the day you usually have a, an extra element in the storage heater so that you can put it on during the day so that's what these are that's that's for your uh, boost because that's a, a fused spur coming off of there and this is for your storage heater so that's what these are sorry I got that a bit wrong there bedroom switch so the light again is starting to go so I think what I'll do is I might connect up a couple of lamps and see where I get to because I'd just like to have a couple of lights working if nothing else so I can still work on the rest of the circuits because they're not actually connected. Let's go over and I'll show you. Up on the consumer unit here. Whoa, I just got this ladder. Okay, so up here I've got immersion. Now, this is your live and this is all your feeds here. So immersion I've disconnected. This one I've disconnected, which is 2.5. So that and that and this one here are either part of the ring main and an extra one coming off it or they're three radial circuits I haven't worked out that out yet this is the cooker and this is living room heater so this is the this is separate so everything from here down is your night storage heater uh, on economy 7 so this is the, the single one Bing it goes there okay so that just supplies that alone the the fuse spur there is uh, part of the ring main I believe so that one we know what it is this one uh, that one there that one and that one I've still got to work out but in the moment I can put the lights on I'm going to put the, uh, the, the holders back in, so I, I, there's no possibility of touching any of this live. But as long as these, these are disconnected, I can still try to trace these uh, with the lighting circuit uh, operational. So it'd be nice to have a few lights for a change. <laughs> I wouldn't have to go home at three o'clock. Okay, so get back to you in a minute. So, what I've got here, I've got all these marked now. I've got all these marked so I know where each goes and where each, where each comes from. I've got the switches marked. That says living room light switch. That says bedroom light switch. See, the, the light is really going there. Wardrobe switch. And then if we come over here, I've got all these marked. So that's the loop to the bathroom, that's the loop to the living room, and that's the switch cable. So if we go here, we should be able to turn something on. Bedroom switch. We should have light. Yay! And if we go over here to the wardrobe switch, we should have light. Ah, moment. Yay! I'll do for now. At least I've got two lights working. So I'm going to call it a day now because apart from being dark, it's bitterly, bitterly cold today as well. So catch up with you next time.